What's up everybody D-Man back welcome to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing another Godzilla minus one discussion video. That's right in this one we are going to be doing my theories my thoughts and predictions on the upcoming Godzilla minus one and we're going to be running through the characters in the film and doing some death predictions because I think the death toll will be pretty high. <laughs> This is the closest I have to Shikishima's jacket, which is sick and I would love one, but it's very expensive, so I can't afford it, unfortunately. But man, oh man, do I want one officially. So we're rocking the Rick Grimes today. And starting out with our death predictions, speaking of Shikishima, the man, our main character in Godzilla Minus One, Koichi Shikishima, played by Ryunosuke Hamiki. So I wanna give the character bios for each character and then go through why I think they'll either live or die. And then much like with that Monarch video where I was predicting which monsters would appear in Monarch Legacy of Monsters, I'm going to give an arbitrary percent rating on if I think they will live or die. Starting out with our lead, Shikishima. Although he survived the war, he lost his parents and met Noriko in a devastated Japan. I think Shikishima is just cursed with bad luck. He seems to survive the war where he was a naval pilot and it seems like all of his fellow men died, including the son of someone we'll talk about later. So he survives the war only to return home to find it burned down and his family dead, I believe, which is pretty rough already. He then seems to survive multiple multiple Godzilla encounters, first at sea, and then he is firsthand in Tokyo during the attack on Ginza and Hibiya. At some point prior to the Tokyo attack, it seems he suffers a head injury and winds up looking like Ogata from the original Godzilla, but I don't know where or when that could happen. It could potentially be that shot of him laying on the ground when he's like, that monster will never forgive us. That could very well be the shot, but I also think that could come later in the movie, so I'm not totally sure. Point is, I don't think he's gonna have a lot of good luck. The most telling thing here is that his bad luck seems to truly hit home Home when it seems that he gets covered in black rain. So for those of you who don't know, black rain is the result of deadly nuclear fallout, and I do believe that this seals Shikishima's fate. I don't think he is going to survive. I think he's going to be one of the few people to walk out of Ginza alive after that bomb goes off, but I think his fate will be sealed. So regardless of if Godzilla kills him, I think that killed him. I do think he's going to survive the attack in Ginza, as it seems he joins a press conference later in the movie, and then I don't know what happens to him. That shot of him laying on the ground could happen after that, it could be when Godzilla is attacking the dock. I don't know. It seems like he takes a pretty heavy hit here winding up on the ground and that could very well be his death scene as we don't really have any footage of him on the ship joining what I believe is the final assault against Godzilla. But I would propose an alternate theory. I think he's going to follow a bit of the route of Sukioka from Godzilla Raids again where he's a retired war pilot and then he rejoins, flies a plane to pilot against Godzilla in a final battle against Godzilla. And he could even suffer a Kobayashi style death where he sacrifices himself in his plane maybe in some sort of kamikaze attack against Godzilla. I think that very well could be the case. But either way, I think it's pretty certain that he is going to die, and that's why I'm giving him a 100% death rate. Next up is Noriko Oishi, played by Minami Hamabe. She's a strong woman who lives alone in the burnt-out post-war Japan. She meets Shikishima, who returns from the war. I believe they're going to have some sort of relationship, and it seems that Oishi has similar bad luck to Shikishima, with her home seemingly being burned down by the war. She eventually does seem like she maybe finds love with Shikishima, and then is placed right in Godzilla's direct path, where she is is clearly injured on the train attack, the train that she is on that Godzilla later chomps. I don't think that's going to be her death. I think she survives the train attack but gets injured only to meet back up with Shikishima. Seems that she kind of loses the will to live based on what we've seen so far. The shot of her standing in the street, which comes from that documentary that aired about Minus One, she seems to just kind of stop while Godzilla approaches, and I think this symbolizes that she's kind of giving up and accepting her death. And while Shikishima seems to try and save her and run away from Godzilla with with her, I think she's not going to survive the Tokyo bombing. She's first-hand present when it goes off, standing right there in the middle of the street looking at it, and it most likely kills her. In fact, that even could be her crushed by the rubble next to Shikishima here. I think regardless, she has a 100% death rate, and I think she will be killed off during the attack in Tokyo, not only to just raise the stakes, but to make it way more personal for Shikishima. Next up is Shiro Mizushima, played by Yuki Yamada, who's an apprentice aboard the Shinsei Maru, a ship that undertakes special post-war 
proceedings and tasks. Now, I do think he's going to have a couple encounters with Godzilla, but I'm not sure if he's going to be put in much danger as a result. If he's on this ship, I think he is certainly part of the investigation crew investigating that dead in the water ship we've seen in the trailer, and I think they will fall under Godzilla's attack, and Godzilla's going to chase them towards the mainland, but I don't think he's going to die. Not much is really known about him, but he does seem injured in the press photo we have of him, and he looks like he's on a ship. So I think he is going to survive the attack from Godzilla on the ship. I think he's going to suffer some sort of injury and then continue to work on the ship. He seems kind of happy in his press photo. So I think that photo will be from earlier in the movie after Godzilla's first encounter. And I think he's going to be kind of like a lighthearted character. And I kind of get the sense that maybe he's like a reporter-esque character based on that camera. And if that's the case, then he very well could die in Tokyo on the rooftop, as many reporters seem to die on that rooftop. But I don't really see him there. So I think he's going to make it out of it. He very well could be the man in the leaf jacket. They look sort of similar, but I'm not entirely convinced they're the same guy. But either way, I actually think he's probably going to make it out of this film alive. I'm going to give him a 50% death rate because I think that they could kill him off, but I also think he's probably going to live. So 50% because it could go either way. Next up is Sosaku Tachibana, played by Takataka Aoki. He's a person that worked in the maintenance development of the Naval Air Corps during the war, and that's really all we know about him. We don't have much else to go on. I don't really spot him in any of the trailers. Almost nothing else is known about him other than that his promo photo shows him standing in front of what looks like a wooden background. And I could believe that this is on the docks during Godzilla's attack. That's possible due to him being a Naval Air Corps worker. But given how little is known about this character, I think he's probably not going to play a major role in the film, and I don't expect him to pop up a ton. That's why I'm only giving him a 5% death rate. I think it's probably unlikely that they're going to kill him off. Next up is Keji Noda, played by Hidetaka Yoshioka. He's a person who's involved in the development of weapons at a naval arsenal during the war, and I think that he's going to be something of our Sarazawa Yamane hybrid for this film, and I think he's going to develop the weapon that will eventually defeat Godzilla in the end. If there's some sort of plot twist reveal where the weapon he builds is the oxygen destroyer, then he's for sure a goner. Other than that, if he builds some sort of ice weapon or some sort of special penetrating rounds for Godzilla, I think he's pretty safe. I think he's going to be on the sidelines for a lot of the film, missing the attack in Tokyo, and only is going to be involved in direct confrontations with Godzilla once at the start of the film when they're being chased on the boat, and once at the end of the film when he returns to sea to take down Godzilla. I'm going to give him a 20% death rate simply because I think the fact that he seems to be a Sarazawa stand-in is a little too obvious for him to die. I think a Sarazawa stand-in is going to be more shocking to survive than to die. The only way that I could see this character's death being justified in a meaningful way is if he goes out the same way as the original Dr. Sarazawa. Next up is Sumiko Ota, played by Sakura Ando. She is a neighbor of Shikishima's house and she lost her child during the war. I think that's one of the people that Shikishima was in war with who winds up in that pile of bodies. There's so little to go off for her, but the promo image is very striking as it looks completely different than everybody else's, and I think it's set long after the time in the trailer when she criticizes Shikishima. I think that will be pre-time skip during the war during 1945, and then we jump to 1947 and she's kind of recovered. And I think she's probably going to be safe and vindicated in some sort of way through the defeat of Godzilla, which will bring peace to her over the loss of her child during the war. That's just me making stuff up based on all the little information we have to go on, but that seems like a satisfying story arc for that character. The only possibility she dies is if Godzilla attacks Shikishima's village, in which case then she's a goner. So as a result of that, I'm going to give her about a 1% death rate because I don't think Godzilla will be attacking Shikishima's village. Next up is Yoji Akitsu, played by Kuranosuke Sasaki. He is the captain of the Shinsei Maru, a ship that undertakes special post-war processing missions, and I think he's the captain of the smaller ship that discovers the bigger one that's lost at sea. He's going to be the one steering them away from Godzilla. Clearly he doesn't die in that attack as he is later seen in the trailer on the big naval vessel. And while I think Akitsu's life will be on the line probably the most directly throughout the film as he will be on the front lines combating Godzilla specifically, I also think he'll probably be involved in the most dogfights against Godzilla the most often. Although I don't think he will be in Tokyo during the Ginza attack, I think he will become our unlikely hero of the film. Shikishima seems pretty certainly like he's gonna die post-Tokyo, whether it be due to Godzilla or radiation exposure. And so I think after the Tokyo attack, the film will sort of shift focus and Akitsu will slowly move from being a supporting character to our lead. That's how the trailers make me feel anyways, especially because we see him paired with Noda very often and Shikishima kind of takes a backseat after the Ginza stuff, at least if my all scenes in order is correct, which there is no guarantee that it is. I think we will watch and root for him in the end as he battles Godzilla and I do believe in the end he will survive regardless of the success of their mission against Godzilla. It's entirely possible that they lose and Godzilla wins and that he is just devastated left on the shorelines watching as all of his men explode, but I do think he's going to survive.
survive. Given the fact that he's fighting Godzilla so directly and so often, I am going to give him a 20% death rate, but I am expecting him to make it out of this fight all right. That leaves us with our final main character for Godzilla minus one, that being the titular Godzilla. Here's what we know about Godzilla so far. Godzilla can be injured. The bomb he is hit with clearly takes off a lot of flesh. It damages him quite a bit and it leaves him in much pain. But I think that this Godzilla is going to be quite the tough one to beat. While I do think it's possible, I don't think he's going to die. Due to sequel potential and the overwhelming sense of despair that this Godzilla causes, I think he's going to be safe and is going to be treated as an unstoppable force that they can maybe only prevent. The only way I think he dies is through the use of an oxygen destroyer. Other than that, I think he is going to survive just fine. And given the fact that I don't think the oxygen destroyer will appear in Godzilla minus one, I think he's going to make it out of here. Godzilla will most likely live, but get defeated or subdued in some meaningful way. Maybe they find an effective deterrence strategy to keep him away from the shoreline, or maybe, as I've speculated, they freeze him. That's entirely possible as well. Either way, I'm only giving Godzilla a 5% death rate. I do think he's going to be all right. Those are my predictions for Godzilla minus one. Who do you think is going to live or die? Are you expecting all of our cast to get killed off, or do you think I'm being too aggressive and killing off too many members? Comment below and let me know. I'm also very curious to hear what you think about Godzilla. Do you think he's going to make it out of here alive or not? All right, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. I really appreciate the support I get through the Patreon. It's through the support of the Patreon that I can make videos like this for you guys. If you want to check that out, it's linked down below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys next time for the next one. D-Man out.